the idea of your life, of whatever it is and how important it is to you versus shifting into a perspective of not knowing and indifference. And in that shift, rebirthing happens, you have born again, just like that, because you have shifted from a perspective of ideas, concepts, time, duration, space, what's important, politics, geography, countries, economies, your relationship, how important it is, your love, your finances, everything, from shifting into a different perspective, you're still the observer, nothing has changed. The presence remains the presence. Consciousness is still here. But all of a sudden, something shifts. Something of the old, which has all these definitions, dissolves into an unknown of a new paradigm of not knowing, but not knowing at not associated with fear, worry, because fear, worry, anxiety is all coming from the past and being projected into the future. Because there's no future, future doesn't exist. There's no such a thing as future. There is no such a thing as a future. So understanding rebirthing and understanding the entering into this paradigm requires, there's a requirement to it. It's not just some breath work workshop that one does and you're doing the work, you're doing the work, da, 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 you do some intention settings, da, 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 and you get really high from it or you cry or you feel the da, 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 da. But then you slide back into your old ways again and you continue being who you were with all your problems or worries or fears or anything. Everything comes with it. So that's not rebirthing. It's sort of like a mental ejaculation. You did a workshop, it was great. You did a rebirthing workshop, but nothing happened. You're back into who you were. Rebirthing, so it requires you the willingness of to die first. We can't do it unless you're willing to die. Are you willing to die? You have to you ask yourself that question. Do you have the guts? Can you go into your death? What would it be like if you died? What would it be like if you die 
prematurely, it's a way of saying it, without you ever fulfilling any of your desires or all these desires that left and are not complete and you died before accomplishing it. Are you okay with that? Can you handle that? Because you can't do a rebirthing unless you're willing to die first. So how are you gonna be born again? And in that, it takes a certain type of determination, courage, willingness, and sacrifice. Because maybe in the death of you and rebirth of you, you leave out a part of your personality or desire or who you think you are or you were behind. Maybe that, that's what happened. Can you handle it? Are you willing? to take the chance? Are you willing to sacrifice? So why don't we take a couple of moments, okay? And kind of sit with ourselves. and see if you're willing to do that. If you're willing to part ways with a part of you that may disappear. Now that part of you most likely is going to be a part of you that is no longer serving you. And it's not doing you any good. But we're hanging on to it because it's comfortable, it's familiar. We know it. Part of us sometimes wish it wasn't there, but a part of us is very much identified to it. Strong identification with it. So in this work, and those of you who've been with me and we've been together on this journey so far, It's always I make it very clear or relay this message is the entire levels of your consciousness or where you add in your life. It's always a perspective. It's always a shift of having the capability the ability and the willingness and the maturity of wanting to shift and bringing your attention from what appears to be real but is changing to that which doesn't change and is here. And that takes a, a certain kind of willingness and spiritual maturity because ordinarily we're just like, oh yeah, or let me just do this and no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna just like 
let me finish up um, after I finish this and after I do that and after I take this trip and after I remodel my apartment and after I get my blah, 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 after this, after that, blah, 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 then I'm willing to pay attention. 